Jonathan Von Trelik. You're welcome. And I am going to be talking about... Well, actually, it'll be less talking and more reacting, because... Tony, we are going to be reacting to an upcoming Batman movie! No, not the Robert Pattinson one. I'm talking about an animated movie. I'm going to be reacting to it, and it'll be... something. So, let's just kind of take it from there. Probably should start from the very beginning, right? Ooh, it's rated R. Uh-oh! <gasps> we save lives every day. That's we Batman! And there's always enough time. Joker! But I failed to save Jason from this life. Joker got a hold of stolen uranium. He's selling it to terrorists. He's going to take Batman and Robin together to close this case. You take them down while I investigate that warehouse we tracked <gasps> Joker to. This is tied into Under the Red Hood. What? Oh, we got choose? This is a choose-your-own-movie thing? Oh! I alone will become more than the dreams and nightmares they imagine for me. This is a little bit of a hush mix. This was getting personal. Joker showed me the truth. Evil can't be cured. Only killed. Oh, we're just gonna go all in on this one, aren't we? Because of my choice, I had to avoid repeating mistakes. Oh, did I see a little bit of Red Robin in it as well? Oh my goodness. See, I was gonna be a smartass about it, but I'm actually stoked! Because... Alright, so first of all, I'm not a fan of the whole choose or ending thing because it's a very tried and true bad gimmick from the 90s. But here, it only works because in the comic books, when Jason Todd Robin died at the hands of the Joker, well, he wasn't quite dead yet. He was actually left in Batman's arms bleeding. And back then, in the comic book, you had a choice. You could call one hotline if you wanted Robin to live. And you called another hotline if you wanted Robin to die. And most people chose for Jason Todd to die. And that's mostly because they didn't like new Robin. Old Robin was loyal to Batman and pretty law-abiding. Whereas Jason Todd's Robin, he just got a little reckless because the fact is he was an orphan from the streets who grew up pretty rough. But I really liked Under the Red Hood, so this case could actually work. And it mixes some elements like Hush and also mixes in a little bit of the Red Robin. So, yes, I think I might actually enjoy it very much. Is it the right Batman and Riddler and Robin here? Look, if it's a superhero, he's up there somewhere, right? <laughs> so, I'm actually kind of excited for this. I think I will make a purchase. That was a short trailer. But it's enough to get my attention, so. La -di -di, la -di -da. I'm Madison Von Drake, and I watched and reacted to the first trailer ever. So you better enjoy and like and subscribe. 
or don't, you know, whatever. I'm just here for this summer. But seriously, it's Batman. You can go very little wrong. Unless you're making a Batman film in the late 90s and 90s. Hi, I'm Addison Von Schreck. You're welcome. Thanks for watching the recent video here. Be sure to like, subscribe, and also ring that bell to be notified. And while you're at it, tug, turn your head and cough, and you'll be finding out about some other videos coming very soon. Until then, check out my videos, and if you must, check out Anthonics Maximus' videos.